that was smart because <laughs> I think that people- hold up. They wanted to completely replace like the original cast. Halo announcer speaks out against 343. Jeff Steitzer opens up. Uh, keep in mind that this video is from a person who advocates against 343 constantly. They are the, one of the most anti-343 people out there. Okay, it's worth giving a listen to. And it seems like it's like a recorded Discord call with Jeff Steitzer. So it's not them putting their opinion on it. They're just sharing this out. So I kind of wanted to see what uh, they had to say with this. And then when 343 came in, again, very, very nice people. But it was a different dynamic. Um, the fellow that I worked with for four and five, I think, um, started out on what was a tricky foot. He basically was telling me how to say all the lines and uh, sort of micromanaging uh, the performance, which I wasn't used to. Um, and indeed, with that game, there were all sorts of people that showed up on social media going, you know, get Jeff Steitzer back. Who's this new guy? It's not what we're used to. And <laughs> it's like, no, it's, it's still me. I'm just doing what I was asked to do. That's very true. I definitely noticed that when it came to the announcement within Halo 4. There was a lot of like things that Jeff Steitzer said and like the cadence that he had in it. And I was like, that just sounds so different and not what... Uh, I would expect from Jeff Steitzer when it comes to like the Halo announcer, right? Uh, but of course, that was just 343 in general. Once uh, Halo 4 came in, they were just like, we're going to change absolutely everything about this game because we want it to be our Halo game, not a Bungie continuation. Why would you give a voice direction to Jeff Steitzer after he successfully voiced Halo uh, for three games? Shaking my head. Well, I mean, you always need to direct the, vo the talent in some direction, right? You, you can't just be like, just let them do their thing because sometimes it might not match the tone. And they, the voice actors don't really know what's happening with the game, right? They have to do the voice acting before all the stuff gets animated. This is really pissing me off because I know exactly, I can hear it in my mind. Ricochet. Like, like, okay, like that cadence right there did not sound right for like the Halo announcer, right? It sounds too like, eh, it's kind of like too, it sounds angsty almost. It doesn't sound like it has like gravitas, if if you want to use that word. It sounds more like a, like ricochet, you know, kind of thing. Ricochet. Like it's, it should be like ricochet, you know, like I give it some. Give some hardiness to it. But yeah, let's get back into the, the Jeff Steitzer discussion here. And we sort of, I think, worked that out so that, you know, they, at a certain point, we were recording. And I said, you know, it would really help me if maybe we could go back and listen to, like, one of the uh, early games, which was a ploy, of course. <laughs> but we did. And they went, oh, 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 yeah, no, no, you're, no, you're right. You go ahead. You do it the way, yeah, you do, do it the way you want to do it. It's like, thank you. So that helped a little bit. I don't know why things end up in the game and why other things don't. I've never understood that. They don't consult me. Um, I, in fact, the way we tend to record is that I go line by line. I do three takes and they decide the one they're going to use. And, you know, it's one of those things where as we as I do the lines, I'll do double kill, double kill, double kill, you know, whatever it is. And I'll try and guess which one the producer is going to choose. I'm almost always wrong. Uh, Reese saying lines over and over again. That's just standard with that. That's not, that's not him complaining. He's saying, like, that's just what you do. That's how you do it, right? Like, I've done some voice acting stuff where, you know, re read some lines for people and stuff. And I would take, I'll do multiple takes just to make sure I get the one that sounds the best. Like, or like, or like a, I record myself when I'm singing or playing guitar. It might sound good. I'll do another take just because like maybe a new take might have something a little extra with it that maybe, you know, wouldn't be picked up in a single take kind of thing. So that's something to say. I don't, he's not complaining about doing multiple takes. He was talking about more about how 343 was controlling how he would say various lines within uh, their management compared to Bungie or just try doing it differently than what Bungie said. Because 343 just has a thing where they just need to change things for the sake of change. Like that's why we have like nightmare and boogeyman as like kill medals nowadays instead of like the traditional ones just because i never got i never got an explanation why that changed it sound like just it changed just just the change I, it's very interesting because you know i think anybody that takes over a franchise like this wants to really put their stamp on it you know they're not necessarily going to do it exactly like the people who came before they have their own ideas they've got their own stuff they're trying to accomplish mm -hmm. And I think that happened to a certain extent with 343. So it wasn't 
perhaps so much a case of, you know, their games weren't good. They just weren't what folks were used to, perhaps. Um, and as, as, as I was saying to one of the callers earlier, you know, what I'm hearing right now is that people really love Halo Infinite and feel like it, they say it feels like classic Halo. And by that, I think they mean, you know, those earlier games. So it isn't as if 343 can't do that. There was a period when we first started with them. I know for a fact that there was a kind of a push to um, basically uh, uh, find all new people for the game. They were going to replace us all. And then for one reason mm -hmm. or another, that didn't happen. Hold up, what? Um, Excuse me? And I think that that was smart because <laughs> I think that people... Hold up. They wanted to completely replace like the original cast for a Halo game. Are you serious? Like, I guess that's coming from Just Nice He says it. That's wild to think that they would just completely rewrite a whole new cast. But then again, like that's that's what 343 at the time would absolutely try to do. They didn't want to be tied to the legacy of Halo. They wanted to make their own Halo games. It's been it's been prevalent since they've taken over the franchise, right? If and it felt like 343 just finally giving in and be like, fine, we'll make a quick classic Halo game, whatever, bleh, just to make you guys shut up so we can at least enjoy the game. I mean, even then, 343 still had like, you know, their own stamp on how they want to make a Halo game, which I loved Infinite's gameplay. I think the campaign is great. Ourselves fantastic. I think the characterization and the story was fantastic. There's a lot of great stuff with Infinite. So the only problem with Infinite is that the live service was not alive until they killed it. Can you imagine just like jumping into Halo 4 and then not having Jeff Stice and be like, double kill, triple kill. Like, yeah, I'm sure eventually within the franchise of Halo, that's going to happen, right? Like they're gonna have to get a new person to do a voice for Master Chief. They're gonna have to get a new person to voice Jeff Stice, right? Like they can't go on forever. Well, they're going to like retire eventually and stuff like that. For the meantime, like especially back then, like in the 2010s, like no, they're still very active. People did get pretty attached to the voices that they recognize you know i mean can you imagine halo without steve downs i don't know what it would be like i mean we'll sort of get an idea when the halo tv show comes out in a month or two whenever it's gonna drop because of course steve is not playing master chief in the tv series i actually would say that Pablo Schreiber actually has done a good job of being a master chief. He might not be your master chief or the one that we grew up with, mainly because the writing has been absolutely awful for the Halo show and really, 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 really questionable. But for the most part, like I think Pablo has actually done a good job as master chief. If they actually wrote the Halo show accurate to the Halo games, Pablo Schreiber could absolutely be a really good Master Chief. Now, it wouldn't be the same as like Steve Downs, but do it Master Chief, but close to it. Would they replace Jeff or Steve with just the deep fake them with AI? Uh, I don't think they would ever replace voice actors like that with AI because I don't want to downplay saying it doesn't take that much effort, but like the amount of time that it takes for them to do voiceovers really isn't that much time. If you guys remember like this one story with Steve Downs was talking about back when Halo CE first launched, he forgot he was Master Chief. He's like, I think I voiced the guy in that game. And the kids were like, oh, what, 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 what who, who did you voice? He's like, I think it was the main guy. He's not there like hand in hand with the developers to make Halo. They have all the lines written up for him. Like he'll get some direction on how to say the lines. He's in there, he does a session and then he, he's good. Well, after Halo 1 came out, I had really kind of forgotten about the session. We had done the session, you know, six, seven months ago. And when you do these things, they come and they go and you move on to the next thing. And I was uh, with some friends in Florida whose kids were playing the game. I said, I, I, you know, I think I voiced a character in this game. And, and they said, really? Who was it? And I couldn't remember his name. I said, I don't know, but I, I, I think he was the main guy. And they said, Master Chief? I said, yeah, yeah, it was Master Chief. Within 15 minutes, there was about 40 or 50 kids outside his door <laughs> carrying Xboxes and uh, and copies of the game. Unless he retires or just, you know, doesn't want to do it anymore, but he still needs his voice or something. So you've heard like the AI training voices, right, for Master Chief, right? All the memes and stuff like that. Like it sound, it's Master Chief's voice, but it doesn't really sound like a human saying it, right? For the amount of effort that it really takes to do proper voice capture like it does take a good amount of effort not downplaying that whatsoever 
What I'm trying to say is that like, it's not like a huge time sink when it comes to game development to capture the voices. So I don't really ever see like main characters being replaced with AI because you're still gonna need to have like proper cadence, proper tonality when it comes to voice acting. But something like uh, like a grunt voice, right? With uh, Joseph Satan's voice, that could definitely be, be replaced with AI because it's not as important, right? Because they're just like little moments of them just yelling and screaming about dying, basically, you know? That stuff you can see probably replaced with AI, but uh, for a main character, you'd, you'd still need that human touch behind it. So I don't ever see them being replaced. The earlier games, you almost had a more a um, stoic approach to how you did your voices to where in like Halo 4 and 5 and Infinite, you have a more um, expressive. Uh huh. Is there, do you have a different almost uh, mindset of doing the voices in the newer games than you did back then? Or is that more of like a, a three four three thing they decided that's no more uh, curious. interestingly enough i mean i i have not gone back and listened to a lot of the earliest recordings um but in it depends a little bit on what kind of a line i've given do you know what i mean you know so if i've got blue team go red team go you know it sounds a little bit more military kind of stuff but then occasionally when you get a line you know, like, uh, oh, I don't know. There was a line that we almost had in the game, and I think this was around the time of three, and they wouldn't let us do it, where I said, you stuck. You know, where it was obviously messing with the player who had fucked up. Um, <laughs> so I think, if anything, I would say that when 343 came in, they were taking out a lot of the character in the voice that was what i was being asked to do so that you know rather than that character who had like a really low voice and stuff it was sounding a little bit more like my it felt like that's what we were doing i absolutely get that feeling as well definitely there was some definitely some parts that definitely sound more like jeff steitzer's voice rather than some military uh, AI voice kind of controlling everything. I mean, there's definitely some weird sound bites that were within uh, the 343 era. But you were talking about also like how sound like Bungie was a little bit more trying to be a little more serious toned when it comes to the voice acting for Just Dicer, where uh, 343 was like willing to let them be a little more human sounding, I guess, in a way. Because that was kind of a cool thing about the Halo announcer. Like, yeah, it was a human voice saying it, but it didn't really sound, it's like, that's not like how people talk though. 